This is a blend extra. Today we're talking about teens and stress, how to help your kids cope with pressure. Our guest counsels a lot of teenagers suffering from stress. Dr. John Duffy wrote this book. It's called The Available Parent. He's also a life coach, clinical psychologist, and parent. And you've worked with hundreds of teens and their families. And I said to you, I want to talk about teenagers and stress, and you said, Perfect. That's part of why I'm in business. It is. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, that is a big part of what I do. Teens are more stressed out today than they ever have been. It's not terminal. It's not going to end their lives, but we need to be very aware of it, and we need to be aware as parents of what role we can play in helping them through it. Okay, so let's talk about how we're, we can help, but are, is there anything we're doing wrong as parents? Give it to us straight. Yes. There are many things. Best of intentions. I think I've never met a parent who didn't have great intentions, but we, we have this tendency to lecture at our kids instead of listening to our kids. My big push is listen more than you think you should because you probably really don't get it and you will learn something from your child. The side product of that is they feel competent in teaching you what's going on in their lives, what's going on in their um, in their whole cohort with all their peers. Be prepared to hear things you maybe don't want to hear and try to listen without judgment, right? Yes, yep, it's yep. It's tough. You, you may even be part of the problem. Be prepared to hear that. Yep. It is tough. So in helping them through it, I, I don't want my kids to be stressed, but right. they are. Right. What, what can I do then to help? Right. Well, the first thing you do is you ask, how can I help? You know, I can tell that you're stressed out and be clear that that's not what you want for them. You want balance for them. You want them to be able to regulate their lives. And in the kind of most extreme examples, you want to make sure that you are available to get them the help they need professionally and take all shame and embarrassment out of that and let that be another tool that they can use to make their life better, happier, and more productive. What's a sign that a parent might see that a child needs professional help? Anything you see that is a drastic and dramatic change. Grades have suddenly dropped. Um, friends have fallen out and new friends have taken their place and you're not quite sure about this group of friends. Drugs and alcohol have come into their lives. Anything that feels like a stereotypic red, red flag, you will not regret bringing your child to a professional. Because what can happen if kids experience chronic stress that's sort of not ever relieved? No. It compounds on itself and it becomes symptomatic of depression, of anxiety, of a lot of very, very difficult to treat uh, mental disorders. So we want to catch it and nip it in the bud when it's just difficulties in living and we want to prove to our kids that they can regulate themselves, that they can manage their worlds. Because once they stop believing that, it's really hard to instill that belief back into them. To get that hope. Yeah. The good news is what? There's hope? I mean, kids can work through this stuff? Kids are young, and there is always hope. I've yet to meet the kid where I didn't think they were, where I thought they were hopeless. Every kid can be helped, and um, with the right help, whether it be a parent, whether it be a therapist, kids can get through the difficulties they're going through. Kids are smart and insightful, and if you listen to them, they often know what the answers are. You just have to listen well. You have to listen well, which means not judging yeah. and being open to hearing things that you might not otherwise like. I like the hopeful note that kids can work through this stuff. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And for more about Dr. John Duffy, you can check out his website. It's drjohnduffy.com. He also wrote this book. It's The Available Parent. You can find out more about him, his book, and his speaking if you visit his website.